It's September, you know what that means. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own mushroom earrings. If you wanna make some earrings for yourself, please keep on watching. I will show you how it's done. With this set, let's get right into the tutorial. So for this project, I like to use Fimo. Oh my God, I don't care. So basically a mushroom has two parts, the top, and the bottom one. And for recreating this, we're gonna need two balls. Take one little ball and roll it into place. This is gonna be the stem. And then I cut it to the size I want. With the other ball, we're gonna create the top of the mushroom. And I always like to imagine that I'm forming a little burger bun. Form it into place. And the next thing we're gonna need is a needle pin. Take the needle pin and stab your stem with it. And then you have something like this. You can do the same with the top part of the mushroom. And yeah, now you have your mushroom. It still looks a little wonky, so that's why I go in and form the mushroom to my liking. Here you can see me thinning out the stem and cutting a little piece so I have a shorter bottom part. So much better. Yes. I take the rest and I roll it out very thinly so it looks like a little worm. And then I take pieces of it and put them on the cap of the mushroom. And these are going to be the scales. For the gels, I will be using a ballpoint pen tool, but you can also use anything else like a toothpick or something like that. I'm sure that works. Follow your clay's instructions on how to harden the clay and then let's go right to the next part. I have made tons of these and now we're gonna paint them. For that I'm gonna be using acrylic paint and I paint over it. I like to use a little bit of brown paint on the edges of the cap and make a little gradient. And it doesn't have to look perfect, it can very well look messy. In my opinion, if it looks a little messy, it also looks a little bit more realistic. And then I take some white paint and paint over the scales. The same applies here, it can also look messy, it's very welcome to look messy. You don't have to put paint just over the scales, you can also create scales on the red part just by using your brush tip. Taking some more brown paint, I'm gonna paint the gills and I will also be painting the top part of the stem. At the very end, I put some white paint around the top part of the stem, so it looks like the ring of the mushroom. Experiment, have fun, it doesn't have to look perfect, it just has to look beautiful. I scrape off the excess paint by using my fingernails. And then I take some pliers and I will cut the needle pin shorter. It helps me a lot to bend it to one side and then start from there. I'm gonna form a hoop out of the rest of it. All you gotta do is attach them to the earring hooks you got. And voila, you have your own beautiful mushroom earrings. I'm so excited that fall is starting to begin in the next few days and I will be wearing these out a lot. <laughs> no, it's not that hard to make and you can make your very own at home and you will slay the whole autumn season with these earrings. Hello again! Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, I hope you liked it. If you do happen to make your own earrings at home, please send them to me, you can send them right here. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Also a special shout out to this patron. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye! I am obsessed with mushrooms, so it would only come naturally to me to also wear them.